Hi Hoopers, Michelle McCoy here with Autumn Flow and I just received my package of new hoops from our awesome Hoopsmith and I'm really excited to open this up and start playing with these new beauties but first I wanted to take this opportunity to make you guys an unboxing video or in this case it's an unpacking video I guess um, but I actually do not personally make any of the hoops that we sell in our hoop shop we've teamed up with an awesome hoop company that puts so much love and dedication into all of the hoops they make and they are all so beautifully crafted and she always has fast shipping and they're really good people we've really enjoyed our partnership with them we wouldn't stand by their products otherwise so that is who is making all of your beautiful new autumn flow hoops and the way that your hoops are packaged will depend on how many hoops you order the size and type of tubing you might get your hoop in a priority mailbox similar to this one or in my case in a mailing bag and I'm expecting there to be three hoops in here so it's a larger quantity so that's probably why they went with the mailing bag for this order and I have had some questions about these mailing bags and if they are as safe to ship hoops this way as in a box and USPS actually considers these bags envelopes and they ship them with other smaller envelopes and items so your hoops are actually much less likely to get crushed or bent shipped this way and the hoops in here are most likely wrapped in bubble wrap as well for extra for extra protection and these bags are waterproof so yeah <laughs> all right let's open this baby up all right, here we go. Ooh. So I got three hoops covered in some bubble wrap. So let's take the bubble wrap off. Guys, and it does not matter how many hoops I have, I still always feel like a kid on Christmas morning when I'm opening up my new hoops. Even my kids get excited when I get new hoops. And we all like kind of fight over who gets to play with them first. Okay, bubble wrap is off. There's some extra goodies in here for the LED hoop. Okay, so they are held together with these Velcro, Velcro straps. So let's just take off the Velcro straps. This is an HDPE LED hoop. I'm really excited about that one, actually. Okay, this is a UV green. I think this is a 5 8 Poly Pro. I'm not sure what size they made me in this one. So I have to measure it when it's all put together. But this color is so bright, I love it. UV colors are so awesome. They are definitely my favorite bear hoops because they are really, really bright and they pop in videos. And this one is a new design that they have released and I'm really excited to play with this one. This is called a coin flip reflective hoop and it's taped one color on one face of the hoop and a different reflective color on the other face of it. So. Um, it's really cool looking in action. And then this here is extra um, 3M gaffer's tape, I believe it's called. It's like super, super grippy gaffer's tape. And it, it just kind of goes on clear, if you can see that. She gave me a whole bunch of extra. That is awesome. And typically when you get an LED hoop, it comes with two rechargeable batteries and a wall charger. I already have so many of them, so they didn't need to send me any extras this time. So after you open up your new hoops, you're gonna want to allow the tubing to warm up and begin to expand on their own. I usually will set them just coiled as they are in a warm spot. It's really yucky and cold right now, and the hoops were really cold 
when they were shipping because it's freezing outside. So I've had my fire going, so I'm just setting them out in front of the fire to warm up for 20 to 30 minutes typically is what I do. I don't really think that it requires any more time than that. And after HDPE hoops and PolyPro hoops have been coiled tightly for several days during shipping, it's just the nature of this tubing to start to hold that form. And you just kind of just have to um, help them regain their circular shape. And you don't have to give them time to relax. I just do. Um, but if you're impatient and you want to like start rocking out with your hoop right away, I'll show you a few techniques that you can do to uh, help your hoop to take on its original circular shape. So you can see here my UV green hoop is already um, pretty much fully uncoiled. It's probably ready to connect. My taped hoop is still pretty tightly coiled. Taped hoops um, just tend to do that. They just take a little bit longer to regain their shape just because the tape on the hoop uh, makes it a little bit stiffer and it just requires more time to expand. So I'm gonna go ahead and just connect my green hoop here and see how circular it is. So all Poly Pros come with a push button connection. Look at that connection. Just look at it. <laughs> it's flawless. And you can see how there's a flat spot here on the hoop. That's normal. That's not like a, um, you know, something that the hoop smith did. That's just, again, the nature of the tubing. So what you can do to help stretch it out is to hold the hoop in place with one foot. Don't put all your weight on that foot. Just hold it in place and just begin stretching out the tubing gently, just morphing it in and out, just like so. Helped a little bit. Another thing that helps tremendously with reshaping your hoop is just using it. And on body hooping especially, just using your hoop will really help. So I'm gonna let that sit by the fire a little bit longer and I'm gonna move on to my uh, LED hoop here. This is the HD PE tubing. So these hoops come with two holes for the push button to connect into. Just LED hoops come with that for the reason that the first button just closes the hoop in an off position and the second button will turn on the hoop. There's no battery in this one right now. I should go run and grab one so I can see what it looks like. Even though it's daylight out, it probably won't show up very much. But the second hole closes it completely so that there's that flawless connection again and it'll turn the hoop on when there's a battery in it. You always want to insert your battery into an LED hoop, the negative side first. So this one is still a little bit egg shaped and it has this flat spot here. So I'm going to show you another technique to stretch out your hoops. You can actually leave it un, um, undone and again just put one foot on the hoop to hold it in place and just stretch out one side of the tubing at a time just holding it nice and straight. You probably want to hold it like this for about 30 seconds and as long as your tubing is warmed up you are not going to hurt the hoop doing this. It's actually pretty flexible. Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, now let's connect it again. So I'm gonna show you a different technique to help this one stretch out. I'm just gonna kinda lay it 
out on the ground and you can just walk along the hoop. It's kind of just the same idea as doing it this way. It's just a different approach. So you just kind of walk along the hoop while holding up the other edges so it doesn't do that and <laughs> buckle under you. Okay, I'm gonna try it this way as well. This one's pretty tightly wound up. Okay, now I'm gonna connect it again. I guess this is my first time connecting the hoop. Stretch it out a little bit more. It's looking pretty good. So now I want to show you how to uncoil a beginner hoop. And I did not have a beginner hoop shipped with these guys, but I'm going to use this one for demonstration. And I've had this one for a long time, so it's pretty beat up. The tape is ripping all over the place. And I promise you, when you receive your new beginner hoop, it's gonna be perfect and pretty. And it's gonna look like this coming out of the packaging. You're gonna want to first unlock it. And you can kind of see here how one end of the tubing is tucked under the other. So you want to just untuck it and then open those two ends up, pulling apart so that the hoop comes into this figure eight. You'll see that the two connection points are together in the middle of the figure eight. You want to pull those apart and your hoop's gonna open up into this really funky shape. Now put one connection point on the ground and step down on it. Again, not putting too much weight there, just holding it in place. And I'm wearing my super comfy <laughs> slippers, by the way. I like live in these during the winter. <laughs> so at the other connection at the top of the hoop, you're gonna wanna grab it on each end of the connection and twist in opposite directions to straighten out the hoop. Stretch it out a little bit. Go to the other connection point and do the same thing. So you wanna aim for the hoop to lay flat when you put it on the ground, and that looks perfect. So it's ready to rock out with. And when you are ready to coil it back down, um, this feature comes in very handy for like easier traveling and all that so that you don't have to go all over the place with this huge, massive beginner hoop. Um, you're gonna step down on the connection point and once again, twist the top connection in opposite directions while gently pushing down. And you wanna be twisting fairly firmly. The twisting is important because you don't wanna push down on the tubing and damage it. So you're gonna go back into this figure eight, hold it together with one hand in the middle while you use your other hand to fold one end to the other. So now you got this. And if you let go, it's gonna start to pop open. So that's where you want to tuck one end into the other, just like that. And you don't want to store your hoop like this for too long because this type of tubing can start to warp into this shape and it'll make it a lot harder to get it to stretch back out to that perfect circle. <laughs> nice, dude. All right, well, this one is awake from his nap, and he's already playing with my new hoops. <laughs> so, guys, that concludes this video. I hope that you found these tips helpful. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any additional questions, and I really hope that you love your new Autumn Flow hoops. Thank you for watching, and happy hooping.
And one little extra thing I like to do to help me tell if my new hoops are a perfect circle or not, because sometimes it's hard to tell when you're in the middle of reshaping them up close, is to do this fun little walk the dog test on a smooth surface like carpet. And if the hoop rolls smoothly across the floor, then it's a perfect circle. And if it's bouncing around, then it's not. And of course for this test to work, you gotta be able to do a pretty solid walk the dog move. And that's it guys. If you need any extra guidance along your hoop journey, check out my complete online guide to hoop dance course available at autumnflow.com and I hope to see you there.